just a couple miles in off a uh, paved road, off the I-17 actually, um, is a red tank draw panel. Okay, well we made it two miles, I think it is, off the highway. And somewhere down there in the valley, there's uh, petroglyphs. Looks like good rattlesnake country too, so I guess we should be watching out for that. Oh, look at that, we could have parked down there. <laughs> so we could have brought our vehicle down here, I suppose, but um, the road is a little rugged. So they're supposed to be marked on my GPS about maybe 50 or 100 meters up this way. You know, you'd think if they're on one part of the rock wall, you'd see them all over. You know, in some other parts, but we're not seeing anything yet. Boy, they blend in very well. Yeah. So continuing up the creek, I actually have come across some pretty nice ones. There's actually somewhat of a little path going up here as well. Didn't couldn't see it until we got right on it though. Now they got a camera monitoring this site, right in the middle of the frame on that uh, trunk tree trunk. It's a good idea. Some kind of centipede looking thing maybe. Don't really know what those are. And some other feature, don't know what that is. Looks like turtles or something there. And a person. And some pick marks, peck marks I think they're called. It's a pretty nice scene here. Nice little hike. There's a couple more. So going up higher, we'll see if we find anything up here. Right, that would be a way to the top actually. That could be climbed right up out of the canyon. Yeah, it got right up and out of there. Interesting, and there's even a little path. And our car is up over there. So we came along there, kind of halfway between those red rocks and where we are right now. Went down into the valley, up the valley here, about maybe 200 meters, maybe 150, and then right up here, and right up at the base of where I came up was the petroglyphs. So that would be it.